All right. Somebody, actually multiple people suggested that I uh, turn the camera sideways, which that's what I'm doing. It seems to work, so I appreciate that. Um, today, before it gets too late here, I uh, kind of start, started late because I was working on this. But um, I'm going to get this engine in to here. This is the, the good one. This one, like I said, is in really great shape. So besides a few little fading here and there. But other than that, um, let me get the seat cover off. And uh, we'll get this thing up on the engine hose here and get it dropped in here. And see if we can get this thing back together. All right got the seat off here these are the old carbs they're still bolted up i kept them there just so i knew which way things went this cdi box which i also call an e-box i'm gonna pull out i got another one right here in this box right there it's going in it then we gotta pull out the wiring harness which one plug sucks because it runs all the way back down to the speedometer right here. So that sucks. And the other ones run up, up underneath the hood here. So I'm going to get this box out and uh, get it swapped over. And then I'll bring you back and try to get this harness out. All right. I got the box and loosen up. But one thing I hate engineers, there's a wire right here that runs in to here. Runs all the way up to this. I'm guessing this is like a pressure sensor or something. And you can't unhook it unless you tear that whole box apart. So I'm just gonna unbolt it, take the line off, and then just use the other one from the other craft over there that's in the back of that truck and go from there. It cracks me up how all these lines have zip ties on them. I've noticed that. Even the fuel lines do. Strange. Got the CDI box out. Now fish is wiring harness. It goes. Set this tub in here get out of my way they go right up in here this whole harness and I did notice looks like there's less wires than the other one has so ooh, I wonder if I have to use the gauge cluster off that I hope not because this gauge cluster sucks hmm. all right I believe I got everything Unhooked from here. Pick up all this stuff in here. Like I said, jet ski was torn apart before I even got it, so I don't know really. Who did it? Because the kid that I got it from, he bought it this way, so. I think he might have did the same thing I did, find out how much a motor was and was like, well, I determined not to fix it. But I got lucky on this engine right here. So that's the one that's gonna go in it. Just dug out a big mouse nest all the way back in there. I didn't even know it was back there, but I gotta get that wire off right here I'm going to take these two off and then I should be able to pull the wire through disconnect it and then when I go to put this back on out have to re-silicone it that way it doesn't try to take it on any water but so far it's coming together got the harness out most of the way just beside what's back there so I'm going to get that off get that unplugged get that harness out and then i should be ready to, to put the other harness in get it plugged in and the cdi box and start dropping this engine in 
All right, got the harness out. Kind of a stupid design. I ended up pulling the plug out. The pins out of the plug. Um, due to the way this is set up, but the manual says you have to unhook it right there with this little screw and then pull it this way, unhook it and bring it back through. Well, he got it filled with silicone and that stuff's hard and crap and there's no way else to do it. So I got another one uh, in here in the box with the other parts I stripped off. So I'm not too concerned about that. I'm gonna pull the CDI box apart, um, see what it looks like inside. Apparently they're pretty expensive, uh, about five, 600 bucks online. So if it's worth anything, it's got some corrosion like I showed in the earlier video, but it doesn't mean anything. Maybe it's good. I don't know. Uh, gotta pull the rat poop out of here. And then um, I gotta figure out I gotta get these off here so I can get this carburetor off. I kind of left it here so that I knew when I put the other carburetors on, I knew exactly where they go. All right, let's try and get the CDI eye box out. Point apart, really. get to Let me grab an extension. Don't mind my tool mess here. That's what happens when you trying to get stuff done. See if I can get them off and I'll bring it back. All right, found out I don't even need to take them off. These are what out here. These are what hold it down to the chassis. Oh yeah. I say she's toast, boys. A lot of water in here. I'm gonna say she's no good. Going to the scrap pile. It's kind of crappy because I'm more worth money. But I got everything set back down in here. Gonna throw the seat back on. It's supposed to rain. Looks like it's starting to come in. It's supposed to rain for a couple days, so I don't know how quickly. I can get this done because the radar showing like two weeks of nothing but rain, but it's Ohio, so it always changes 24 seven. But I'm gonna end it off right here on this section. And then when I get back from it not raining, I'll finish it up and hopefully we can get her done. This rain holds off. All right, so connectors were all the same. I gotta get this harness in before I can put the exhaust in. Get that in. The zip tie's there. I have to get some zip ties, but for now it works. Then this is the one that goes all the way to the rear, which is gonna be a pain to get. All the way back in that little hole back there. So I gotta do that before I can put the exhaust back in it. So I'm gonna get that in it and then uh, I'll come right back and get you guys involved in it. But I wanna get the motor in at least tonight. That way I can just push it into the garage, clean some of this up, push it into the garage, and I can work on it tomorrow while it's raining. And won't have to worry about being out in the rain because I like to get this thing done.
All right, let's get to it. So I got the engine ready to go back in on the engine hoist. Got the wire and harness ran. So now we'll get this thing down there and get it bolted in. All right, got the engine set down in, coupled up. Now I just gotta put in all the bolts here. And that will allow me to work on this thing while it's starting to rain. It was rain all day tomorrow. And then I can just get it in, clean up here with my mess I got going on. And get it in here, start on that. That way I can get it done and be out of the rain. All right, one thing I did notice is I was always wondering, I just noticed it, why this thing was leaning. Well, I think I found it. See the support? It's bent. Here's the other one. So I will have to, once I get it done, I'll try to get that um, back of it lifted up if I can fix this side if not maybe I'll see if they can let me use their tractor again and we'll lift it up off the trailer and set it down on something that way I can work on this trailer just wanted to show you guys that we'll get to it once I get it up and running